You're watching Suck Professor. Hey everybody, it's me Hank, playing Valheim. Uh, we're uh, heading away, heading home actually. We got a, a boat trip ahead of us here. Welcome to the show. All right, we're doing a solo blind playthrough, so there's no help and I don't look up anything, I don't Google anything. I, part of the, what's ostensibly supposed to be entertaining is watching me figure shit out. I don't know if that makes, if that's good or bad. I know there's a rock right ahead of my boat here. There it is to the right. Um, but no, we're heading back on a little trip. I'm actually just gonna push, just push the land a little bit. I just kind of like the idea of opening up a little bit of our world. Maybe we'll go like, just to see, see if we run into anything interesting. Probably get attacked by a sea serpent. In which case, I will uh, get real loud and. Shoot it a bunch of times, maybe. So yeah, welcome to the show. Hope this has been fun for anybody who's been watching. I've been having fun doing it. It's been a lot of a uh, bit of a technical challenge for me. I mean, it's mostly all sorted out, but setting up the everything, getting the cameras and lights working, and having it all working nice and well. So a few few glitches here and there. And it's, there's no shoreline. I can't see anything. Anyway. Um. Also, just, uh, you know, getting used to being on camera, and that's also been part of uh, why I'm doing all this as well. Since I want to do other things on camera and get more comfortable in that sense. So I have some land, at least. I'm going to hit up this land. I'm not going to land. I'm just going to follow the shore. I'm not sure why, but that feels like it's mildly safer. In terms of sea serpents, although the only time we've seen one was right up on close on something. Is that different? That's a big ass mountain right there. Kind of water. That looks like it's. Oh shit. You dummy. A little close. Can't really tell. Yeah, what? I, okay. Some light. Is that planes? It looks like it's plain. If you look at the upper right corner, like it's kind of plainsy colored. Although I'm steering like terrible. <laughs> okay. There's a red light over there too. That reminiscent of fire. Oh, I see my very out of steam there. Yeah. If you look at yeah, it, is oh yeah, it is plain. It says it right there. Duh. Okay, so we know there's more planes down here. But we'll just sort of hug the shoreline here. And we'll get day daylight eventually. Oh no! This is not... Do they give up? Or are they... Do, do mosquitoes get frustrated? I don't know if they have the sophistication. Uh, don't think so. it seem to be following me. Looks like it chased me off. Oh, there's some locks. That's funny that they just came in. Okay, we're up on some swamp, some plains. Pretty cool around here. I want to see like a city. I want to see like big structures. You know, I want that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm really heading south. <laughs> oh man, there's a chest. That's like a dungeony kind of looking one, isn't it? Dunge? Alright, sorry. Steer back. To land slightly. I was hoping that that guy was running along the roof, he'd like jump. I'm just like Gah! crash on my boat. Great boat movie? Okay, this is for you kids out there. Get a little sophistication in your life. Alright? By you kids, I mean people under 37 and above 35. 
This is the perfect movie for 36 year olds. Master Unt Commander. I think it's on Amazon Prime. Uh, Master and Commander. Now I watched a video. I've seen it twice. Once years back. Enjoyed it. It's an interesting building, right? And uh direction are we headed here? We're really going. I'm curious what's I wanna connect with this land. Oh, they didn't even look to that side. God, look at my steering. It's just brutal. What's that thing? Is that just a dead guy? Oh, those are blocks. Maybe I don't want to. Had plenty of them in my life. Um. Yeah, Master and Commander. Uh. A long time ago I watched it. Had really good memories of it. I was like, oh. And then I saw it and I was like, oh yeah. And then like two years go by and I watched it like a week ago. Quality program. Stars. Well, I wouldn't tell you. But it's about um, naval engagements between the French and British navies in the like 1800s or 1700s. But it's also like, uh, I don't even, what is that? From... That's like a ring. Hold on, we gotta investigate. In other words, we gotta crash our boat. Stocking up. Um, during the the poly like piracy. Wow, yeah, what the hell? Be careful. I need to stop. What is this? It's a stairs down. Start back up. What is that? How do you go down this water pit? Circle? Question mark? That's something, isn't it? I imagine those don't... Those, won't, those will spawn not where they're flooded. Um, anyway, a lot of interesting stuff. Not that I've, I know it all, but like, um, you know, as the naval powers of Europe during the eras of expansion and exploration and colonialism... Oh my god, there's something huge coming at me. Run away! No, no sail. Is that a leech? Yeah. I thought it was. I thought I saw like a white kind of shaped banded one there. That was. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I'm full of metals. Leave me alone! Alright. Spin, spin. I'm being sloppy and stupid. Well, we've explored more than we need. Okay, okay. All right, let's just, let's just, sorry. I know, I know they're all over the place. Let's cross this bit here. This is fine. Straight head, straight head. Turn, turn, fucking. Overcorrecting dumbass. Okay. Yeah, these, uh, naval, like, this, so these various powers. French, British, uh. Dutch, Portugal, Spain. Um, had, uh, you know, a lot of violent interactions with each other, as well as like independent sort of mercenary. I remember reading, I was reading something and they're talking about how like there's, I don't know what they call it, there's some word. Is this planes? So this is more what I think of when I, if you told me planes. These fucking mosquitoes are everywhere, man. There's some guys running around. Like, how did I get the tiniest planes in the game? And there's a village. This little stretch. And there's a whole village. Why is it purple? I don't see any single building. Right now. Man, if, if I get out of here, if I make it home without 
of locks just popped up. Oh, they're fighting. It must be a good fight. Are the mosquitoes fighting the... <laughs> That's hilarious. We got a whole beatdown going on. We got water creatures. There's one attacking me right now. Alright, maybe we should go. Oh, I know. I don't even know if this goes through. So you'd have like a ship captain, and they'd say, You're not the military anymore, even though you're a military vessel. And say, Alright, I'm an independent military guy now. And then there'd be like these like piracy, but like, or mercenary or legion, legionnaire. I don't know if that's the right. I'm very dumb about this. I don't know anything about it. I just know that a lot of crazy complex dynamics occur. So I think in the movie Master and Commander, one of the ships is not an official military. <laughs> I'll just to say that. Flooded dungeon thing. That's fun to watch those guys having a fight. Oh yeah, we're 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 getting a lot covered here. The whole damn island. Right, so I watched another video, like one of these, like, movies you missed, or you should watch this movie, or something. Yeah, that's kind of video. And, um... Oh. It was like, uh, uh, something about Mastering Command. You know, by one of these channels, it's, like, got an audience, and, like, it's not bullshit. Like, the guy knew what he was talking about and stuff. A lot of that kind of stuff on YouTube. Anyway, the guy was talking about, uh... It was outshined by another maritime movie that hit hit the box office pretty hard. Titanic, if I recall correctly. No, my brain is saying maybe it was Avatar. But whatever, it was Titanic. I, I don't know. So Master Commander was nominated for Best Picture, and it won Academy Awards for special effects and stuff. Which is another reason that I suggest you should check it out. And if you like hunky sailor men, me, go for it. Life on those boats is pretty goddamn tough, though. Pretty uncomfortable. Real, you gotta be real good at smelling other dudes. Tolerant. All right, Jesus, we got a long way to go here. There's so much to explore in this game. I'm never gonna, I'm just not like, could you imagine trying to do like 100%? Like, all right, I'm gonna do every dungeon, every tin, every shoreline, every tree. So we, we haven't done mountains. I don't even really think we've done planes. We've just had a weirder, we've done like a plane, a plane simulator. You know this is a bad idea too. Maybe not full speed. Skeleton out doing his daily rounds. Good for him. Smartest decision, probably. Got this. Got 
like this. This is the, the river to the final boss. Oh, hello. It goes through. Didn't know if it would or not. Wake up, bitches. Come on, wind. Keep going, keep going, make it over. Yes. I don't know if I'd advise taking that tactic, that tack, but uh, it worked. Okay, let's follow the shoreline. Oh, can't. So I'm not in control of the boat. I don't like the steam, or whatever they call this, mist. Well, those are very different things, steam and mist. Maybe not very different. Certainly not anywhere quite yet. If you're surrounded by steam, you're being burned. You're either the top of a piece of pasta that has yet to bend itself in. You know, and you want to be like, uh, have a date over, and like, make some lasagna. No, I'm going to make some spaghetti. And you want it to be sexy spaghetti, which is long. Sexy spaghetti is, well, the lo the sexiest is like 20 footers, but those are those are difficult to deliver one long strand because then you go and she's on the other side going you know garlic and sauce going in your mouth but you're slurping it in it's dangling down your esophagus like a parasite and you go and you end up and then you go surprise you go whoa that's sexy spaghetti so when you have a date you want full size spaghettis Oh shit, this is optimum serpent weather. I have no idea. You want full full length spaghettis. You don't break it. You don't break the bundle. I mean that has its own ASMR satisfying feeling too. I'm not against it. I'm saying for sexy spaghetti. Full length. Put it in the pan. Water. Pot of water. Depending on how big it is, though, it might not all the way go down. And then it sits at an angle with the dry part poking out. Let it soften. Good God, this is fucking nuts. Um, we'll see. Let it soften, and then, then the rest of it will settle its way into the pan on its journey towards becoming cooked with the rest of its own body. Usually, it'll, you won't be able to tell which end was the last one to go in. You think it's not. You think it's like, oh, I can't let it cook at a different rate. No. You're getting sexy spaghetti. Okay? Now you got full length sensual noodles. Little skinny pastas. Bite one end down. I feel like I'm going to be sunk in that sea. Uh, get the other one. And if she's not playing along. Or if you know, you, 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 one of you might not be picking up on the on the game, you pick it up and you hold it to her mouth. Am I being blown asunder here? Can you get washed to uh, like washed away like that in a sequence of magic? Some kind of like wave thing can comes and just blows you off, of course. But then it, like it warps you to the other side of the map or something. Like my boat could use a repair. All right, we're 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 roughly gonna have this coastline now. Now, if I get struck by lightning, that'll be interesting. Yeah. So then she bites on it. Now you both got spaghetti in your mouth, and you can go. And you make the surprise face. Whoa! Act like oh, gee, Louise. <laughs> Is that where the? Go. Not go. The 
What were we looking for? Flying dinosaur. Uh, dragon was up here. Was up this way. So it's kind of. And this is our leech base. So we're not that far. There's some wild waves, man. Probably be a bad idea to stand up. So yeah, yeah. I, but I'm not. I'm not a big carb eater. Don't get me wrong. I will eat carbs. I love to eat them. They're delicious in every way. So I wouldn't necessarily do sexy spaghetti. I would do sexy cauliflower. Same exact moves, but instead of spaghetti, cauliflower. A whole head. You start on one end, she starts on the other. Nibble, 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 nibble. And by the time you get to the middle, you've both eaten half of a cauliflower. And you go, whoa, you make the face. Both your eyes go nice and wide. And then you uh, re retreat to separate bathrooms because you both have diarrhea. It's called Sexy Cauliflower. I should write a book. I should write a cookbook. I do think about writing books sometimes, like essays. Dear essay. In this essay, I will describe my feelings. I will talk about my feelings, and I will use jaunty language, light, light construction to illustrate how much I, I can write, sort, but not really, mostly just to show off, even though it's not really saying anything. That's the wind is. Did I put that there? Why would I have put some, why would I have that must be accident. I think other noodles are sexy. There's the bow tie noodle, that's the sexiest noodle. We all everybody agrees that bow tie is sexy. And not just around the neck. Hip bow ties, upper arm bow ties, right there. So bow ties are a sexy noodle. I think those uh, raviolis are pretty fun. They got kind of a fun surprise in the middle. Could it? Will it be meat? Will it be a pad of cheese? Bite it find out. There's plenty of other sexy noodles. Tortellini. Eh. boing -a -loins. Those are sexy. Push them down and they go You push them down a little and they go Real arousing. We call those arousing noodles. Everybody knows it. You know it. You know it. I know it. Nobody doesn't know it. Those are called arousing noodles. Arousing noodles. Channeling our former president's style of communication, which is just to insist that you already know the thing he wants you to believe. It's such, such con man stuff. <laughs> such con man shit. Um... But I'm talking about noodles. The flat lasagna noodles. Now those are kinky. Those are not sexy. Those are kinky. They can be used as paddles if you're into that. Some people don't mind. In, what, 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 was that a, is that just like wave collisions? Because you can get fucked up by waves. I mean, you know, water has that thing where it's... Push back real hard. Oh, man, we're, we're, we're turn around and go this way now. <laughs> Doing donuts out here in the parking lot. Gonna head over over check up on Deer Island. Yeah, it, it's just taking ocean damages. And from a rough journey at sea. This feels fucking risky. Good guy. River. 
Oversteered, oversteered. Slow down. Oversteered again, oversteered again. Bigger radius of a turn. That's fine. I just can't see ahead. That's Yeah, the spaghetti noodles, I know there's a word for it, but or no, 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 lasagna noodles. Those are kinky. If you're with your partner and they want more physical interaction to communicate, say, oh, I got just the thing. I know what you're gonna, I know what you're, you're gonna like. Oh, shit, oh, fuck. Crashed ashore. hold on. Back up. <laughs> I know I got the perfect thing for you down in my noodle drawer. You stay right there, okay? Put you, do the happy baby yoga position. I will be right back. You run downstairs. You open the drawer. You push those tortellinis out of the fucking way. You grab those big flat paddle-shaped lasagna pastas. I'd say even. Put a chain on the end, one, on the end of one of them. Turn it into like a kind of morning star, some sort of medieval weapon. Maybe even put a chain between two of them. Now you have kink chucks. All right, kink chucks. And then you go up there and you you spank that person hard. And then you become married. This is like a loophole to weddings. You don't have to do a wedding if you have... If you have that kind of... Okay, well, that's good. I just talked until we got home. That was really all I was scared about doing there. All right, look, we made it! Fucking stay right there, boat. We did it. There's the storage. Let's just do it the dumb way. We're, we got this. We got this. Alright, well, we are approaching the end of our journey here on this uh, video. Um, I'm going to do one more tonight. Um, and uh, start putting some stuff away here as we say goodbye. Because I'm going to start the next video. We're going to do some... We're going to smelt that black metal that we brought back. That's going to be really cool because it'll probably have a new recipe or something. Let's put this stuff away. Eat some of this. I know I have a cart somewhere for this, but you know, whatever. I'm just Almost. <laughs> Say goodbye, workshop. We're going to expand the heck out of this. Look at that. Look at all that shit. Alright guys, that's it. Good night. See ya. Next episode we'll be starting momentarily for the those of you that are watching on on uh, Twitch. Actually, question. Uh, can you damn that off? I gotta think you mean like our this little inlet thing. I'm curious about that. I, I, I've thought about maybe building I call it inlet. I don't know what this is. A little canal, river. I thought about building a bridge, not to have any reason to cross over there, using this fence thing as sort of like one side of it. I'm betting you can. I kind of want to try like irrigation or just mess around a little more with building and stuff. More than likely, it'll just be like bridges and stuff. But yeah, that's a question I wonder about. Um, all right, cool. Thanks for, you know, so that's the kind of stuff I think about. And then uh, someone, uh, someone. Oh, the under... Oh! I'm so stupid. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. The underwater stairway that is uh, FT Ward in our chat for the stairway. God, I'm... Yeah, you're right. My timing. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's how that works. And then the water... That's worth trying. It's shallow enough that I could... Eat, and it's right by the land. That it would be... Yeah. Good thinking. And thanks for telling me that that's not yo yeah you mean this thing that i just was at yeah the dude uh shelter says she likes fresh gnocchi yeah fresh gnocchi's fun they have like a special little tool for that right called a fork i don't know all right guys good night see you soon we'll be doing one more tonight on our twitch stream 
Bye-bye.